Okay, we're back out here with the 22RE on the Toyota 1990 Toyota pickup. Haven't done a video for, for a while, so I thought I'd update where things stand. I was having, after I put the motor back together, I was having some oil consumption problems. So that's the subject of this video. Uh, when I put the motor back together, monitoring how much oil I was using, I was burning or consuming about one quart of oil every 450 to 500 miles, which was, was really, you know, blowing my mind because that's, you know, like every, <laughs> every, you know, couple thousand miles, you're burning up a gallon of oil, you know. Anyways, I started doing some research and I think I figured out kind of what the problem was and so I wanted to share share what I have learned in this video. So initially I thought I had an oil control ring problem and I put a lot of chemicals through the motor both in the fuel and the engine oil. You know, we're talking Marvel Mystery Oil, sea foam, gum out, um, you know, Berryman B12, Kim Tool. You name it, I put it through directly in the cylinders, let it sit overnight, crank in the motor, put it in the oil, uh, and w as well as put it in the fuel. None of that, even though it made the motor run better, none of that really affected the oil consumption problem. And then one night I happened to be researching oil consumption. I ran, ran across a, a really fascinating web page, which I'll put in the description of this video, that talked about uh, how they modified their oil baffle and drop their oil consumption from around one quart every 600 miles to one quart every 20 or 30,000 miles. And I thought, oh wow, I wonder if that's my problem. So to see how much oil the PCV system, the positive crankcase ventilation system was using, I bought this little cheapy kind of uh, oil catch can off Amazon for $30 approximately. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with this. It's kind of become my new favorite little accessory. You can see I have it just kind of strapped in so I can pull it out. It's got a little dipstick and it has a little baffle on the inside that unscrews and then it's got, it holds about five ounces of oil. Now you can see, if you look carefully, I also modified, I put a section of three quarter inch uh, tubing here or a pipe so that I created a little void in this area uh, and then I, I've got my, my PCV valve up here and another, just a, an open valve down here. And then on the baffle inside of this, I, I'm running, let me show you what I'm running. It's for the baffle material, I'm just using this paint stripper pad. I just cut it and stuff it in there. And the reason I'm using that is because the, the the little catch can from China did not include the little stainless steel stuff. So I had to grab something in the garage so inside the little baffle here, I'm running that paint stripper stuff. And also I've got a couple pieces of it shoved in here to try to give the oil something to cling on to and roll back down into the motor uh, as opposed to being sucked up with, the, with this PCV valve. So after reading that link with the, uh, where the guy modified his baffle to keep oil from spraying up, I thought, huh, I wonder how much oil is slung around, you know? And so I found this really interesting video on YouTube, and I'll put a link in the description, where this guy, he, I think he was maybe in Mexico or somewhere, he built a valve cover out of plexiglass, and then he runs the motor, you can see. And when I watched that video, I saw how much oil is really thrown around in here, specifically around the timing chain, and I, and I thought, holy cow, I wonder if my oil consumption problem relates to the LC engineering dual timing chain that I installed. And the reason I say that is because when you install that and you're running the factory valve cover, there's a modification you have to make where you cut this, the oil baffle away from this area. Normally when you look down here, there's like a little baffle, but it interferes with the chain, the dual row upgrade uh, on the timing chain. So I had to cut it out and that just left this and I thought, oh my gosh, Maybe that's why my motor is burning so much oil. Maybe the oil is being slung up on this little platform and then it's finding its way back in large quantities to the PCV valve. So what I did, I don't know if you, you see down here, this little piece that sticks out to the front, I bent it around and then I just took a screwdriver and pressed it down so that it encourages the oil to go back down to the front of the motor. And I gotta tell you, when I did that, 
and also when I put the little baffle material in here, the motor suddenly went from burning, or excuse me, the catch can suddenly went from having five ounces of oil in it every 30 or 40 miles, which is a tremendous amount of oil. And I think that explains how my motor was burning one quart every 600 miles approximately. Suddenly, I started getting only one ounce approximately of oil every 90 miles. And if you, and if you extrapolate that out, that's about a quarter oil every 2,500 miles, which is not great, but it's way better than a quarter oil every four or five hundred miles. So I think that explains where my oil was going. I'll put a link to the Amazon uh, page for that. Really great little catch can, it doesn't cost too much and it definitely helped me figure out where where my oil is going. So for anyone who's having oil consumption problems on their on their 22R or 22RE, you might want to investigate the PCV valve uh, you know, positive current case ventilation system on your on your motor because I I think that's where all my oil was going. I, I don't think now that I had oil control ring problems. I think it was being sucked up to the motor for for whatever reason, and I think some of it may relate to this baffle situation. So uh, the other interesting thing I I had noticed in this whole thing was when I go up the hill to my house, I noticed that I halfway up I I blow out a lot of of smoke, you know, from the tailpipe, blue smoke. And I'm starting to think that oil was pooling in my intake manifold, or the plenum rather, and when I would go up the hill, it would roll back onto that fourth intake runner and get sucked into the cylinder number four. And the reason I say that is because I, I noticed over the last year that the, the spark plug on number four had a lot of oil on it. Number one did as well, which could be going down the hill and having the oil roll to the to the front of the intake runners. But number four seemed to really have a lot of oil and that would correspond to increased loads, you know, going uphill, sucking a lot more oil into the motor under high RPMs and then having it deposited back in the back of the motor. So anyways, for anyone who's struggling with trying to figure out why their 22RE is burning a lot of oil or consuming a lot of, you know, unusual amounts of oil, I wanted to relate kind of how uh, what I've been through and definitely if you got the dual row timing chain uh, consider modifying this baffle I may pull my valve cover off and and do an even more sophisticated uh, modification to the oil stuff right now uh, this little guy here with kind of the void where the oil has to get get through to the PCV valve seems to be doing a, a pretty good job so I'm gonna run it for a while but this catch can definitely is worth the money in my opinion because it is keeping oil from getting and burned into the motor and it's like I say about one ounce every 85 or 90 miles which is still high but manageable um, so anyways that's uh, that's kind of been my experience hopefully the video helps anyone who's having oil consumption problems like I say I put all the links to everything including the article on the baffle in the description of the video if anyone has any questions or comments, feel free to uh, use the section below. All right, thanks for watching.